So the best way to fish in Tears of the Kingdom is probably electricity, and that's not unique to certain areas, that's just in general. And you can use shock fruit, you can use choo-choo jelly, yellow choo-choo jelly, and as you can see on this pond, you can easily get some fish popping to the surface, such as the rare and valuable hardy salmon. Mighty salmon? Hardy salmon. And then you can just kind of toss and gather the fish that float up to the surface. It's very funny and a very an easy way to easily get a lot of different fish if you want to choose to just throw some things and gather them. But here I am in Laurelin Village, the fis fishing village down in East Nicluda. Um, they have mighty porgy and stuff. You can see them in the water right over there. Let me get a picture of these guys even. But look, we've got, oh, if I can get my, Joy-Con to co cooperate. Here's the fish. So Laurelin has a lot of fish, a lot of things. It also has this shirt, this lobster shirt, if you want to get it in a chest um, from under the water. You also have the mighty and armored por porgy. Porgy. Is it porgy? Porgy? Look, one's jumping out there. Here they are. These guys are great for cooking. They The mighty one boosts attack. The armored one obviously boosts defense, and that's really handy to have. And so, this is a horrible photo. Excellent, excellent. So although you can use the method of shock fruit or, you know, choo-choo jelly or something, um, you can also grab a ton of them by using a vehicle. And I just think it's really funny. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. Let's make a vehicle for fishing, for farming the fish. I'm stealing his roasted porgy. So if you've got electricity, a vehicle thing, anything that can like generate electricity in the water is going to be key. So like using shock emitters obviously is gonna be the key here if you want to do vehicle wise you also need a way to not get shocked so let's say we have this build it's just kind of logs a fan a control stick a shock emitter and i need to put on probably let's see we're gonna put this let's put this in the water um we're gonna get some dead fish and then i think i'm gonna also get electrocuted yeah please please leave so these fish are goners I, I turn it on, they instantly rise, of course, they're dead. Right over here, as you can see, you can get a lot of fish that just pile up. Oh my lord, there's still some alive ones over there jumping around, but look at all this dead fish, this pile to collect. Holy cow. Okay, we need to fish. Let's, let's go, let's go. All right, fish, dead instantly. Oh, 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 I found them. Here we go. It's a ton. They just all rise to the surface. <laughs> Here's where you can go. Just dive right in. And then you've got a ton of these guys to pick up. Oh my lord. <laughs> it's an easy way to get a bunch of them. I don't know why they all gather in this one spot. <laughs> but it's fantastic if you just want to do this. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love seeing them all. <laughs> Like I said, if you have something that conducts electricity, you might get shocked, and so you'll have to put on some um, shock-resistant stuff. I I use, I think, let's see. I think usually I'm fine with these Topaz earrings, but they've been upgraded. They've got four stars. Um, I think if it has less than that, I was getting shocked or something. You could also use, I think, like, what, the, the lightning helm or something? This is fine because it's logs, I think. But if you have something like metal or, like I said, if the electricity is shocking you, you might need um, some precaution. <laughs> this is why I have 30 and 28. I've got so many. I'm about to uh, get more. I mean, I love doing it. Uh-oh, be careful. They have just, they've wrecked my thing. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, and you, this is a good learning opportunity. So you can actually turn these guys into yellow chew if you electrocute them. Or after the fact, you can also do it. So let me, okay, I put this down. Oh, there's more. And then I fuse. It's electric. And now we're going to get some yellow. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we need. Come on, you two. Perfect. There you go. So you can get yellow chew jelly like that. And then we can use that to fish and that's gonna be a really easy way i want to get some hardy salmon hopefully so 
I go to usually, let's see, this uh, pond. So Tama Pond, there's a big silver lionel right there, but here's Tama Pond, and we can go there for some hardy salmon. That I've got this nice laurel and uh, paraglider that you can get via helping out a woman in the village after the village has been restored. I think you need to make a dish for her and then like blow her off with a gust of wind. Very simple. So using the choo-choo jelly or chalk fruit or what have you, you can easily do fishing this way. You shock that and then it rises to the surface. It's perfect. So here we go, big, big hardy salmon. Love that. I was stunned the first time I saw this thing. I think it was being sold at the at Zora's Domain. Only one of them, and it was freaking huge. They are huge fish, and they restore four hearts. That's why they are so crazy. I love them. They're big, they're useful, they are hardy. This is a huge fish. So, oof. Here's a wolf. Care for the wolves. Oh, there's some chillin' trout. I'll just throw material. <laughs> That seems to do it very nicely. Oh, we got a bunch. That's a good amount. And voltfin trout. Voltfin trout are great because I think they are aiding in shock resistant stuff. Um, big L though for them because they themselves, of course, are not shock resistant. When cooked into a dish, it offers resistance to electricity. Dang, the fish that offers resistance still dies by electricity. Big L. Sometimes I'll go down here. So although, once again, I can just easily throw the shock fruit, I can also do my, like, comical vehicle. Um, we can try that again because it's quite silly, I think. Is this gonna sink? <laughs> yeah, it sinks. <laughs> All right, we got fans here and whatnot. Um, I wish I could take apart that, that one. Okay, anyway. So let's use a small contraption. We can do, I see the fish, they're jumping. Oh, we're gonna collect them. Now it's probably pretty crude and stuff, but it works. Okay, okay, this is a mess. Are we good? Yeah, we're, we're better. Okay, let's go. This is very crude, but like I said, it gets the job done. You can see them all coming to the surface. This is a bad vehicle, but you see what I mean? It brings the fish. We're sinking, we're sinking, <laughs> we're sinking. <laughs> Not ideal, but oh, I see all the splashes. That's all we need. This isn't a vehicle. Whoa, there's one. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, we got the hardy salmon here too. Okay. Perfect. We have uh, crashed, but we got that. And then where's the others? I think a bunch of fish over here that's piled up. <laughs> I told you, it's my favorite way to fish. I love it. There we go. We'll finch her out. More of that. I'm so sorry. I should have shown you where this is earlier to get a better view. So we are at, remember, we went from Tam Tama Pond and then now we're over at the Hebra Plunge. <laughs> and that's got some hardy trout there as well and other stuff. I bring the fish to those who appreciate it. The Rito. Here, Tillin. There you go. There you go. These are exotic. And that's that. I just kind of wanted to show off all this fishing nonsense and fun, and hopefully you got something out of it. I really hope it helped or you enjoyed it. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Check out other Tears of the Kingdom videos I've got, or subscribe and stick around for whatever comes next. Thanks a lot again, and have fun out there. Bye bye